Hey guys, welcome back. It is the Drum Kid 92 here again with my new series, Breaking the Jar. Uh, for those of you who are not all that Minecraft savvy, uh, the .jar file is the one in which uh, all the uh, game's programming and everything is kept. Um, but yeah, this in this series, uh, I will be showing you guys some mods and texture packs and different things like that. Um, you can see right now, I'm using the GLSL Shaders mod. Um, it's very, very cool. Requires a couple of things to work, though. Um, you do have to go to kind of like a separate site. It's this guy who, um, he, he kind of like uh, made additions to the mod and kind of personalized settings. Um, so you can download, you know, like light, ultra. I run ultra. Um, you can download different, like varying degrees of the mod. Um, with different things, because obviously it taxes your video card a lot more, um, because it's you know it's running all this dynamic lighting and all this stuff. Um, but you can see um, the sun is kind of high in the sky. As it gets higher, my shadow will get more centered, and as it goes down, it'll get longer. Um, so that's that's how it works. Um, uh, right here, I'll just give you a quick tour. Uh, Casa del Castillo. That is my last name in Spanish. My last name is Castle. Uh, but yeah, nice little homie. Got some cake, brewing station. Got the broom cupboard. Um, also, you'll notice um, the highlighting square is much more defined than it normally is. Um, but yeah, here's my crafting room. Got plenty of shit there. Also, one other thing. Um, this is actually lit up. You see, I put a torch down. Not much of a difference. Um, it does kind of, uh, it really impacts um, the amount of lighting that your uh, you know, personal sources, I guess, is one way to say it, um, can really give off. Uh, you can see, it's beautiful. You can see all those fence posts right there. It's great. And you can see it shifting as the sun goes down. Um, and I'll show you guys. Yes, yeah, so my shadow's getting longer. Um, another really big thing about this mod um, is that um, oh, uh, the leaves and grass will move, kind of like they're being blown in the wind. A very, very cool effect. You know, I'm going to fly over here to the grass. Um, and the shadows even move with it, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, and you can see this doesn't really create alternate shadows. Um, I think that's why this is affected so much by it is because if I place a torch here, it doesn't create a shadow on this side. Um, the torch itself just actually casts a shadow. Um, so these aren't as effective um, because it just kind of mainly uses the sun. And uh, you can see you know, all of these different structures casting their different shadows. And you can see just how great that looks. My shadow just going over those different surfaces just looks fantastic. Uh, it's very very well done it does take quite a bit to run though um, if you if you're using a laptop uh, unless it's crazy upgraded just you might as well forget about it uh, you can there is also a little bit of motion blur you guys can see that there um, you can get versions of it without motion blur you can adjust the settings uh, but uh, yeah that's that's how it works it's very very cool uh, the installation can be a little bit tricky because uh, when you you have to download the file, run its own installer, and you install the files, and it creates a shader file in the .jar folder, and then uh, in the .jar folder is where you put. Um, this is where I go to read. Uh, in the .jar folder is where you go um, and you drop all of the version files. Like I have the ultra, so I drop all the ultra files in there. Um, so it, it requires a little bit of uh, manual labor on your part. But uh, most mods do, anyways. Um, unless you're using like Mod Loader. Uh, as far as I, I tried to get it to work with Mod Loader, um, and I could not get it to work. Uh, I think it's because you first have to run that initial installer, and it creates the shader file, and then all that stuff. Uh, you can see how long my shadow gets because um, the moon is now coming up, and so actually it does make nights a lot brighter. Um, I will say because the moon's out. Um, that is that is one thing I'll say about that. But let me show you guys. We'll go down here. I know it's really dark right now. Um, we'll go down here and I'll put down a torch. That's as much light as it gives you. That torch. Um, so if you are a big spelunker, this may not be for you. Um, because it does make it a lot harder to see. 
Um, if you're looking for something a little creepier, a little scarier, then maybe this is the mod for you as well. Um, but I mean, just out in the daytime, it is just gorgeous. It makes this game look fantastic. It works with texture packs. Um, I've I've run it with Sfax, uh, Pure BD, um, uh, 256 res, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I usually run it with 128 because if I do 256, it my computer can't quite handle it. I'm only running an NVIDIA uh, 460, so um, that's all I got right now. I've considered doing dual 460s, but uh, I, I think the next thing I upgrade will be on RAM because I've only got 4 gigs right now. But um, yeah, here's here's the GLSL shader mod. You guys look it up. There's a bunch of cool tutorials on YouTube and different sites about how to install it. Uh, some of them are right, some of them aren't. But um, yeah, basically how I told you is how you do it. Uh, you download the file, run the nitrous, uh, manually install the shader files, and then uh, drag and drop your version files into the shaders folder in the jar. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys liked this. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these a little bit shorter. This one will be a little longer because I'm explaining everything and going on and on and on about crap. You guys are like, shut up! Uh, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I'll try to keep these a little shorter. This will kind of be a little one-offs every now and then. Uh, if I find a cool mod, I'll go ahead and make a video of it and show it to you guys. Um, but yeah, GLSL Shader Mod. Check it out. It's very cool. Um, I'll go ahead and include this world seed in the description because it is very, very cool. Um, you start off a ways from here. I had to fly quite a ways to get to this spot, but this spot is fantastic. Most of these structures were already here. Um, I just kind of, you know, built in the... Hey! Get out of here! Get out of here, zombies! Uh, I obviously, you know, built all the bridges and stuff, and built Casa de Castillo. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's my little you know, Nether Tower. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys like the video, give me a like. If you want to see more, definitely give me a like. That's how I'm gonna know I should keep the series going. Uh, if you like me and you like my personality, uh, go and give me a sub or check out some of my other videos. I got tons and tons and tons of videos. I'm doing a Let's Play right now. Um, I'm pretty far in that one. I'm also having a How To series. Uh, I need to take a different approach on that one though. Um, so if you don't like the way it's been going so far on the How To, don't worry. I'm I'm adjusting my approach to not be quite as ADD and <laughs> random. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of a semblance of order to it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all later.